That's some cursed <laughs> Reddit to me is like the dark web. I've seen some really truly <laughs> on Reddit and this is one of them. I don't like, actually I do like eyeballs. I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> they seem okay. I just don't like them together. I mean, they should be separate on your face, not all together loose and touching each other. That's just offensive content, and that's just in there to mess with me, and I know that for a fact. Oh, look at it run up his leg. Oh, well, actually, I can't tell. That's a spider, right? It looked like a spider to me, but then at the end, it kind of looked like it had wings. But yeah, I think it's a spider. No? Something else? Looks like it's got little wings. It looks like a spider, though. I hate it. I hate that so much. You know my weakness and it's spiders and things with more than two legs. Actually, more than four legs. I like dogs and cats. Truth be told, I didn't divorce my husband because of the countless photos of his mistresses. T oh. I divorced him because they weren't attached to a body. <gasps> she found pictures of women's boobs on her husband's phone, but they weren't attached to their bodies. Therefore, her husband, who is now her ex-husband, cut them off. Or they what? He's a surgeon. Oh. He's probably a plastic surgeon. Therefore, they would never be on until he puts them on. He's, let's assume he's a plastic surgeon. He's probably just doing his job. And she's like, these, all these mistresses. But he's just like, that's his job. Oh no, you can't take pictures. <laughs> he's a doctor. You can't take pictures, or well, can you? I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, keep the boobs where they're supposed to be, on the bod. A photo of a man standing in front of his home, yet it seems he's not alone in the house. A black and white image of a man in a jacket appears in the window behind him. Oh, is, is that a person? From where I'm standing, it could be like a curtain. Well, I kind of see. Yeah, it's hard to see from where I'm standing and also because I, I'm clinically blind. <laughs> As all the comments like to point out. Oh yeah, I see it now, I see it. That's a, that's a ghost, that's a ghost. That's a confirmed sighting of a ghost. This guy went back into his house and then he dead. Oh my God, it's like the OG Joker. What the f is his mouth. I can't quite make out what's happening there. Let's hope it's makeup. If it's not, then mm, I'm sorry. Tinder's not gonna be your friend. What's that noise? Oh no. I'm coming. Is that an animal trap? I see you, I see you. That, that felt to me like the snake was playing a trick on them and they were luring, it was luring it in with the, the sounds. And then at the end, that couple's gonna die from the snake. So it sucks to be them. Snakes, the tricksters. There's a bear in my room. Oh, I hope a window's closed. Close it, close it. Oh no, window's open. Oh, get out, get out. Get out your, get out. Her window's open. There's two. There's two. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh my god. Oh, one's already in. Oh no, it's not. Quick, close it. Oh my god. This is terrifying. I can relate, not specifically to the window. Having a bear, or oh, why would you even, if you live in an area that has bears, never leave your window open, especially at night while you're sleeping. That's inviting danger. Make sure your windows are locked. Jesus. But I remember the days that I used to live in Alaska. Oh my God, you never worried about people. You only worried about wildlife, specifically bears. There were so many bears. There would be grizzlies in my garden. Like that's And I, I had this fear. I was always so scared. I would have, when I would go outside to walk my dog, I had to have bear bells on and bear spray. Like what kind of life is that? Not a fun one. I was always so worried that a bear was gonna eat me any day, you know? When I was little, I saw this strange figure standing in the corner. I told my mum about it, and as it turns out, every single one of my siblings had claimed to see a figure that looked the same when they were around the same age. Interesting. Not that scary. It just means your house is haunted. I think we've all seen a ghost at one time or another. 
I've seen a ghost. I swear to God, it was a ghost. No one believes me. I think my family have started to believe me in time, but most other people don't believe me. What the f is this? Well, I'm confused because first of all, it looks like someone's exploring an abandoned building or it's like some kind of urban explorer, but I don't understand why it's edited like it's uh, I'm on drugs. That's what I'm concerned about because it's edited to be like some dark web. Look under the bed. I've reacted to this video a couple of times and it's still f terrifying. That's why I intentionally have a bed at home that touches the ground. I don't want any gap because it invites spirits. A gap under your bed invites killers, demons, ghosts, and they're going to try and attack your ankles. So anytime you put your feet down, they're gonna try and grab them. That's why if you have a gap under your bed and you try and get out of bed, you gotta jump because then they can't grab you. Supposedly, this is how angels really look. I kind of knew that. I mean, I kind of, I kind of knew that. Like it's fact. It's not fact because angels aren't real. But they're not. How they are depicted isn't supposed to be like oh fluffy like a human being with wings. Like it's not supposed to be nice and fun. That's why there's a lot of fallen angels like Lucifer. Lu Lucifer. <laughs> I'm so used to Joss calling me Lucifer. Like Lucifer. He was a fallen angel. Um, but yeah, they're no, they don't look like friendly. They look quite mean, actually. Did you know in 1975, a 17-year-old boy was killed while riding his moped? He was killed exactly a year after his 17-year-old brother was killed while riding the same moped in the same intersection by the same taxi with the same driver carrying the same passenger. I just hate when people lie to me. I know you're lying to me. That's not a fact. Give me the firm evidence. Give me newspaper clippings. Give me reports for both cases. First of all, if you're hit by a taxi on a moped, I'm assuming the moped's not in one piece. It's gonna have some issues and then just get another moped. And also, if I knew someone had been in a moped accident, I'm not gonna be like, you know what? I'm gonna get a moped. They seem safe. Some people. Get, get it together up here. What's happening? Oh, who's that? Who's that? What is happening? Is there someone coming up the stairs? I don't wanna watch anymore. I didn't like that because it was so nonchalant. And like the person filming didn't really give too much a Like they were just like, okay, there's someone there, uh, turned around, there's someone there. They didn't really react. They were moving very slowly. There was a, some sort of child there and then they just walk up to it and then the child's gone and then it's down the stairs. It's like, if I saw that I'd be out the door so fast. I'd be having a heart attack while I'm running, trying to escape. It's loud. Oh, that's like a ghost child swinging on the swings. And you can tell because they're not swinging properly. They're kind of going back and forth. That's a sign of a child on a swing. They don't know how to swing, swing correctly yet. So they're just like, you know? I love swings. 
I used to love that feeling of when you're on the swing, you go high and then you lean back and then it feels like you're on a roller coaster. You know? I miss being young. No. That's not him. Okay. Well, okay. This is like one fan art piece that you found of Lucifer. That's not how he looks. There's other, like, more uh, biblical depictions of him. I've seen other, like, depictions of him and more, like, you know, historians have drawn. Not that any of this is real, but I like that everyone's like, this is him for sure. It's like, we're living in a made up world, okay? On August 29th, 1968, all the televisions in America shut down. There was a murmuring on the TV that some believe was the devil's voice. The televisions were off for about 25 seconds. No one knows what the issue was and no one knows what the sound was from the TVs. You know what it is? It was one person. They wised up and they were like, I'm gonna tell the world, we're in a simulation. I don't think it was the devil's work. I don't think the devil really cares, to be honest. The devil's not real. Just kidding, I, I'm the devil and I have a legion of followers. The legion of Lucy. Throw away, said, two and a half years ago, I was in a dire financial strait, so I sold my home to keep my struggling business afloat. I neglected to tell the owners that they have an 800 square foot bunker on the property that I built about seven years ago. The bunker that I've called home since I sold it. The entrance to it is well hidden, but I still come and go every early slash very late in the day. I'm a single man who keeps himself. I'm now in a situation where I could move somewhere else, but I love this hidden paradise so much. Okay, well, hmm, what the f Essentially, this guy sold his house. Strangers bought the house, but he just failed to mention that he was going to continue living on the property in an underground bunker. To be fair, like, as long as he's no longer got keys to the main house and he just lives in his bunker, by all means, stay in the bunker. He's causing no harm. He's in dire financial straits. Give the man a break. She knew they were too scared to go into the basement alone, but she decided to check anyway. They weren't there either. She began to panic. The mom then says, Jordan, Casey, come out now. Mommy's not playing anymore. There was no answer. Panic really begins to set in. She decides to call 911 and reaches an operator. She tells the operator what's wrong and the operator sends an officer to her house. Once the officer arrives, he says, don't worry, we will find him. As she's sitting in the living room, she hears giggling and laughing and hears a closet door slam upstairs. She sprints upstairs and says, Jordan, Casey, you worry me sick. She opened the closet door and nobody was there. While all of this is going on, she hears the doorbell ring. She runs downstairs and finds the officer holding Jordan and Casey. The officer says they were hiding in the shed out back. Then Jordan looks at mommy and says, why were you telling us to stay in the shed? Okay, so essentially what I'm getting from this video is a ghostly entity, a malevolent spirit was trying to lure the children in the home. It was saying, go hide in the shed or go to the closet. I don't know. It was a really long video and I got lost. My mind drifted to other places. It happens a lot. It's called ADHD. <laughs> it happens all the time. <laughs> anyway, it was a fun story, very creepy, but the children made out alive, all good. All we know is there was a spirit in the house It wanted to kill them all, but they're all alive now, aren't they? Good for them. Around 11 o'clock, he takes his headphones off at the same time his parents are returning to the house, and he hears his mom from downstairs yell, hey Adrian, what happened? Confused, he runs downstairs and sees right away what she's looking at. Muddy footprints all over the rug. He tells her, I didn't leave my desk. And then they realize someone must have broken in. They look at the footprints and there's none leaving the house. They're worried someone's still in the house, so they run into the garage, terrified, call the police. Police arrive and they don't find anyone in the house, but they do make a chilling discovery upstairs. The police bring them to the kid's bedroom door, which had been left open all night, and they point to the message written on it in Sharpie. This is the actual transcript of what was written on his door. I see you, you forgot to look at the back, you forgot to lock the back door, you seem focused, turn around, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. F me. Guys, I can't stress enough. Double check your doors, lock everything. Listen, there's so many people in the world that are more like trying to break in. They're gonna check all your doors. You may not know it, you may think, no, I'm safe in my home, in my big house. No, you're not safe. No one's ever safe. Lock everything. If you're in there, even if you're home, like, lock all the doors. There's evil people in this world. 
Friends of mine moved into a new house with their 4 year old son. He kept talking about a boy being in his room, which they brushed off. Eventually they humoured him and suggested he talk to the boy. The next day they asked how it went. Their son said, I asked him if he wanted to be friends. He smiled and nodded, but I could see he was lying. This is um, a skinwalker, I think. I mean, I cannot confirm whether this is real or not. This seems to be from a movie, I guess. I never knew where this picture originated. I always thought it was just like someone had snapped it on a walk, you know? There was just someone there. But it's supposed to be a skinwalker, and skinwalkers are real? But no, I feel like skinwalkers are legit. Like the rake, legit. Slenderman, legit. I've seen this before. I've seen this pop up on a TikTok a number of times actually, not specifically this one, but many people who are in a changing room and they spot the person in the stall next to them or the changing room next to them has put their phone like or lent their phone up against their shoes and you can see that they're recording them and it's disgusting. People are perverts and you're all disgusting. Give people privacy. Leave us all alone. It makes me panic thinking like, oh my god, has someone recorded me in a changing room? Oh, it's scary. Some people are the really disgusting people. Just get alive, go away. Okay. Is it just like a raccoon or something? I can't tell. Is it something It's the face. Oh, wait. Those two are, oh, it looks like a Trevor Henderson creature again. Yeah, it looks like a Trevor Henderson thing and it's got the arms, one's like on the wall and then one's on the fence and it's just like, I'm here. That's what it's saying, as it rests its head on the uh, the table outside. Worried no one's gonna take her seriously over an apparent ghost in her house, she ends up calling a paranormal investigator. When the paranormal crew arrived, they were actually very skeptical until they heard loud banging in the attic and they decided to go up and have a look. As soon as the two men get up into the attic, one of them screams and suddenly disappears. The other, who didn't have a flashlight, starts using the flash on his camera to illuminate the attic and he takes one of the most famous pictures in paranormal history. His partner, who was in total shock, had been lifted off the ground and tied to one of the beams. That was the last night the woman ever stayed in the house. Oh, so scary. I don't like that. I don't like it. That's, are we sure it's a ghost? Was it, it looked like a person to me, although the person went flying across the room. That could be anything. Who knows? What do Ed and Lorraine Warren have to say? The phonies? If I'm ever getting a home, I'm gonna have someone go in and look through the whole house to make sure no one's in there for me, and then I'll have a priest come in. Actually, no. If a priest comes in, it's gonna get haunted, because priests invite demons. It's best just to stay, stay clear of it altogether, you know? And that way you'll never get possessed. Several years ago, there was one one of those what's a secret you'll take to the grave posts. A poster told a story about their abusive and horrid father and how said father had a heart attack while poster was present. As he slash she told it, they recognized what was happening as dad was struggling to get up and to reach for the phone saying help. The poster grabbed the phone, took a few steps back and simply said no, watched him die on the floor. That's very difficult to respond to. Uh, definitely nothing funny about this one. Essentially, the dad was abusive, um, he had a heart attack, the person who he abused was present for the heart attack, and they didn't want to save him because of the abuse they had suffered. Late one night, I heard my daughter's voice coming from her room. I got up and just before I opened her bedroom door, I heard her say, you don't have to leave, let's show daddy. I opened the door and she was alone, the window was wide open. Huh? Late one night, I heard my daughter's voice coming from her room. I got up and just before I opened her bedroom door, I heard her say, you don't have to leave, let's show daddy. I opened the door and she was lying, the window was wide open. So she was talking to uh, a ghost or a serial killer breaking into the home, or just a thief or anyone, a creepy old man. Props a ghost, children see everything. They see absolutely everything and they'll talk to anyone. They don't know what's good and what's bad. That's why they all get possessed. Okay, junior year of high school, 16 year old me taking the subway home, noticed this large man with a shaved head and creepy smile sitting across from me, just staring at me like I was 
a juicy steak. Feeling uncomfortable, I get up and move to the next car. I sit down, shaved head follows a minute later and again sits across from me. I decided to move to another car, not the next one, but two away, figuring he'd leave me well at left alone. Not so, he followed. I notice that we are nearing my stop, so I get up and make the move to the next car and proceed to get out of the car onto the platform as the doors close. Shaved head was looking out the door at me, banging on the door, wiggling his tongue at me. I nearly train pulled out I dashed out the station and grabbed the first bus out I felt I was just minutes away from being an after-school special that's terrifying like it is true that the strangest people that walk the earth ride the subway I've never met stranger people than I have on the subway that's why when you get on the subway just make sure you're like in a group with other people like strangers like when I used to have to take the underground in London oh my god the weirdest people there so I would just like never look at people never make eye contact always just look down and then surround yourself with other people that are seemingly normal and harmless and then just never like seem like you're alone follow the hot sauce or say something embarrassing uh, follow the bear just moved what? <gasps> oh, oh my god uh, that, well, that, okay, that's creepy, but her reaction made me think that it was set up. She was like, what? Um, the bear just moved, oh, what? I was like, girl, you're not that good an actress. I could do it better than that. I'd be like, oh, what? What? <laughs> I, I really am thinking these days that I could be an actor. A serious actor in some drama movies. Give me Academy Awards. I think I'll be great in showbiz. It's a long word. What? 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 <laughs> I'll be like, she has such a deep voice. <laughs> Ooh, what? What? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> okay, so this happened to me last summer when I was back at my parents' house during the holidays. It was around 3 a.m. and I was in my room on my computer when I got a call from my sister. Now that was already a little bit weird since my sister's room is just down the hallway from mine and she could have just came in my room. I went to pick up and the call ended as soon as I reached the phone. I figured that she wanted to speak with me so I got up and went to her room. As soon as I reached her door she started screaming that someone was in the room with her so I busted in and of course nobody was there. After she stopped crying she told me that she woke up and saw a dark shadow just centimeters from her face and that's when she screamed so I told her that she called me she told me that her phone is not in her room and that she was sleeping sure enough her phone is actually downstairs in her purse the weird part is that I have the log of her call on my phone but she doesn't never managed to explain this one I can't explain the phone call that's it I mean the shadow we all dream you know I've had it before where I've woken up in the night and I'm still kind of half dreaming and I saw a f***ing spider on my wall, like a giant one. And then I was like, I did this. And then I, you know when you're so scared and you slowly start to reveal your eyes to see if it's still there and nothing was there. And then I've had other times where I've woken up in the night and there's like, just like a, a floating head turning and facing me. There are a lot of creepy photos on the internet, but are they real? This photo is tied to the 1962 Halloween massacre. It's a costume party that was said to go horribly wrong when the man wearing the black mask locked all the doors with the intent to kill everyone inside. And he began attacking people with a kitchen knife and ended up killing seven people before escaping. And the man was never caught, but it said the FBI has his discarded mask. And the photo is real, but the story the internet created around it is fake since there was never any massacre on Halloween in 1962. Oh, well, okay. The, the video was scary until she was like, <laughs> the picture is real, but the story is fake. <laughs> She's like, this massacre supposedly happened. This guy in the black mask locked all the doors and tried to kill all these people. The picture's real, but the story's fake. I'm like, okay, you made the video not scary anymore. Thank you for ruining it. You should just lie to me. Tell me it's real. I love a scary story, but I'm glad no one died. But now that, now this video is no longer scary. No. I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. I hate this. No. Oh, that's it. Okay, you gotta go back. Go back to the demon baby because I can't watch this on a loop. Okay, that was horrible because there was for sure a tarantula. Oh, <laughs> that's a spider. That's a spider in the back. And then that's a f***ing worm. Like the longest worm I've ever seen. That looks like a worm that like goes into your gut and then makes you sh but makes you skinny? Like, what's it doing to the dead spider? Because that's a dead tarantula, right? And then this 
longest worm that's all coiled up. And what's it trying to do? Like make sweet love? I don't know. And why is it so foamy? Yo, what, we, what, what is that, bro? What is that? What is that? Wait, 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 be careful, be careful, be careful. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh my god, oh my god. Yo, what are you doing over here, bro? You're not scaring anybody. Stop, You're not scaring stop, anybody. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my god. Go, 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 go. People like invite danger. It's like, why are you doing that? Stop toying. Stop like messing with this person who's clearly not all there. Like, you're, you're, you're bringing this on yourself. Stop yelling at people. Like, just drive away, leave that person alone. They're minding their own business. They're not trying to harass you. But you harass them, therefore they're gonna chase you. If someone starts harassing me, I'm gonna chase them too. All right? So don't harass me, Chris, because I'll chase you. Oh my God, it's a cake, like, filled with tongues. And decorated with tongues. I didn't see the teeth. That's horrific. Worse if they're real. They kind of look real, to be honest. I mean, no, it looks like fondant. That's fine. Oh, you f I really, ugh, I don't, ugh, I'd rather eat. Oh, I feel sick. I would rather, no, I would rather eat that whole cake, teeth and tongues, than look at that f spider worm again. Oh, no, I, I'm only gonna look at myself in the monitor. I can't acknowledge anything that's going on. Chris, why are you such a today? <laughs>